Until the last gun in the besieged garrison of Dien Bien Phu was silenced, American privateers manned by French crews leave Hanoi in round-the-clock sorties to hammer at the Viet Minh Reds. Planes are still braving murderous anti-aircraft fire as they unload their bombs on one of the most fiercely contested pieces of terrain in modern military history. It is a last-ditch attempt to save the doomed garrison. The bombers are immediately followed by clearly marked mercy planes with food and medical supplies for the thousand wounded in the underground hospital. The wounded who, after the fall of the fortress, became the pawns in ceasefire disputes at Geneva and the opposing commands in Indochina. These supplies are a matter of life or death for the men who lie helpless in the hands of their communist captors. The shoots, as they land, join the shell pockmarks where gallant men fought to the death. However, after truce conferences, helicopters bring in a trickle of the most severely wounded to Luang Prabang for transfer to Hanoi. Many of these men had lain for weeks under constant bombardment during the days which preceded the fall of Dien Bien Phu. After a long nightmare, they arrive at the hospital in Hanoi to receive for the first time adequate medical care. Their rescue is accomplished under a shaky agreement which changes from day to day as the French resume their bombing of roads leading to Hanoi. The fate of Indochina remains uncertain but these are the victims of a ruthless war.